Well, welcome to another episode of Sports and Songs Podcast. We got a little uh, preview intro, Andy. Yes. Um, what was Secret the name Talk. of that band? That would be Huey Lewis and the News. Well, it's our season premiere for season five, Andy. It's episode one. We're going to kick off with a little album review from Huey Lewis and the News. We've never done these guys. Tonight's edition yeah. is the songs episode, of course. Huey Lewis and the News. Um, Everyone likes these guys, right? Yeah, I mean, they, they they were a little bluesy. They were rock and roll, um, kind of the end of rock and roll in a way where you weren't hard rock or pop or dance, just regular rock and roll. Kind of like, you know, the cars kind of fell in that. Yeah, yeah. Michael Kasich. The mid-'80s was kind of the end of just rock and roll stuff like that, but they, they were caught on just the right time. Well, here we are, November 9th, 2023. You know, our first show was uh, the anniversary was yesterday. It was November 8th is when we kicked off this project. And now here we are in our fifth year. So we're going to start off with Huey Lewis, the news with an album review. Now, let me bring it up. We should have done right off the first one. I'll I'll bet that um, most people are going to recognize this album. The album review we're going to do today is sports. Now, why are we doing this, Andy? Well, you know, it's took us time. It's a sports and songs show. And sports and songs. We figured we would have done this one somewhere in there. And some people have said it should have been our first one. But no, well, no, it's, it's, it, it's, uh, it's worthy of a season premiere episode. Yeah. Season 5 premiere. Um, so there's the album. Here we lose the news there in a bar. Now, what I found out, Andy, is that, that the history of the bar there in, in California, where they took that shot, um, that's called the 2 a.m. Club in Mill Valley, California. That's where the band performed a lot of their music in the early days before they became famous. So they got a little plug-in at the bar. I did not know that. Yeah, nice. But once again, we're here to educate even that's ourselves. All we do. That's all we do. That's all we do is educate, folks. So the album is Sports. Uh, this is their third album by American rock band Huey Lewis and the News, released September 1983. It reached number one on the Billboard 200 charts, but stayed on the charts for 160 weeks. Now, Andy, why did it only hit one? Uh, why well, was it only number one one time? There, okay, there's 52 weeks in a year. We'll do simple math here. Usually, there, you're number one for four, five weeks. Eight weeks is really good. There was only five number one albums that year. That whole year, 1984. Thriller. Like the first third of the year. Okay. The Footloose soundtrack. This album, for one week only, was this album, number one. Okay. That was Bruce Springsteen's Born in the USA, and then Prince's Purple Rain. So if it wasn't for this one album, one week, there would have been only four albums. But this one snuck in there for a week. So And, and this, in a normal year... It would have been up there for multiple weeks. This yeah. this album spawned four number one hits. Yep. But you kind of look at it. It's like no, we're going to make this movie uh, UHF sorry. that came out the wrong time. Sorry, four top ten hits. Four yeah. top ten hits is what it spawned. Yeah. Including uh, Heart and Soul, The Heart of Rock and Roll. Um, let's see. I want a drug. Wanted, I want a new drug. And then they earned Grammy nominations. If this uh, is it in 84, yeah. This is it, yes. So very well in the charts, but boy, to get that coveted number one spot, um, only four other bands had it that whole that whole year. And these guys snuck in just for one time, a blip on the radar. Um, the thing that's funny is when two of the songs, Heart and Soul went number one, on the Billboard Top Rock tracks in 83. And I Want a New Drug hit number one on the Billboard Hot Dance and Disco tracks. Okay. So I wouldn't really call them Hot Dance or Disco, but hey, I just report the news. I don't make it. Yeah, very, very interesting. Let's go through the songs here because I know you've got some – Input on these, Andy. Yep. You, you own this album, right? 
Three times. Okay. I, kept, like, okay. I never, I never did. Always good stuff to listen to. I never owned anything by Huey Lewis in the news, so this is good. But fill me wow. in on some of these. Song, um, song number one, The Heart of Rock and Roll. Yep, great now, song. This is, that's got the beat. This is a kind of a paying homage to the city of Cleveland, Ohio, right? Yeah, and different radio stations at the end, he keeps mentioning different cities, and it kept getting longer and longer because he kept adding more, you know, as the song got bigger and bigger, he kept adding more towns to it. But, yeah. Okay. Very good. Next song is Heart and Soul. Another good one. Next one is yep. Bad is Bad. Now, Not a bad song. Is, bad no is Bad. Never, never released as a single, but they made a music video at the end uh, yeah. for this song. Yep. And then I Want a New Drug, which was everyone's uh, favorite. The yeah. lyrics for this song came to Huey Lewis when he's driving in his car uh, on his way to his lawyer's office. And then when he got there, he wrote down the majority of the lyrics on a piece of paper when he pulled into the parking lot. So that just came to him. That was an excellent, excellent song. The next song is Walking on a Thin Line. Very good song. And, and they released yeah, this. Been a long this song. Well, this song has a good harmony, and this was really good, too. Yes, this was the song that was released last. They released five songs, um, five singles off this album. The album only has nine songs. Five were released. Six had music videos, and this was the last one. And this one is Walking on a Thin Line. Um, really, is the lyrics deal about the poor treatment of veterans who were turned home from the Vietnam War. And, and it's so, Veterans Day this weekend kind of fitting, too. Yep, yep. Um, very interesting. That's another thing that I didn't know. The next song is Finally Found a Home. Next song is If This Is It. Very popular song. Very good song. And, you know, the other thing that helped you lose in this video is part of it, too was the video era, the MTV era, helped them a lot. Yes. If this was released, uh, if this is it, released July 10th, 1984. And when you're talking MTV, this is the height of it. That summer, yep. uh, music videos like that just catapulted these bands uh, into the stratosphere. Yep. Last two songs on the album is You Crack Me Up and Honky Tonk Blues. And, and that's a Hank Williams song. Yeah, he did a cover, yep. A cover song on this. I didn't know that either, so I learned some new things. What are your favorite tracks here, Andy? Um, walk Out Thin Line and If This Is It are probably my two favorite songs, and Heart and Soul. Okay. I Want a New Drug is okay, but again, thanks to MTV, it just got so overplayed. I got so sick of it. Um, if I hear it now, every and here's one, you don't hear a lot of his stuff in, in mix anymore on the AD stations and that, so... It's not so bad now, but for a while there, it was kind of sickening. Well, here's the here's the personnel of the band here as you look at the album cover. Huey, Huey Lewis, vocals, also harmonica. In the background, you got Mario Cipollina on bass yeah. and Johnny Cola, sax and guitar. Bill Gibson on drums. Chris Hayes, lead guitar. Sean Hopper, keyboards. And so you got a six-man group here. With all the percussion, yep. uh, saxophone, the horn section, the bass, uh, yep. drums, the keyboards. Pretty good group here. Yeah, it's kind of got a bluesy rock, I've heard called um, pop rock. So yeah, they're a good sound for that time. Now, you, you mentioned Bad is Bad is, is a good song. Now, yep. he, he wrote this. Huey Lewis wrote this song with his original band called Clover. Yes. Written in the late 70s. Well, Huey Lewis was still working with Thin Lizzy. Yeah, I never Huey, knew this. I never knew this. You look up Huey Lewis's track record, harmonica on songs from 1975 till just a couple years ago. For Boy. he'll be on an album, one song, harmonica. But that's how he got his name out there in the business. He played harmonica, very good, very bluesy, very rock and rollish. Helped get his name out there, get him out, and uh, he's doing okay with that. Yeah, it's very, uh, very good. Now, this was released September 1983. Uh, the genre here is rock and pop rock. Length of the entire album is 37 minutes, 46 seconds. And released on the label uh, Chrysalis. Chrysalis. Chrysalis was the label. Yeah. Chrysalis. 
And so they had the, uh, the, the year before the album was Picture This, and then the album that came out after this was called Four. But, boy, this really did it all. This is the you know, five singles released on the charts for all of these weeks. And album four, their fourth album, they spelt it F-O-R-E, like golf four. Golf. So kind of that sports theme. Sports theme. Um, sports theme again. But I never knew he worked with Thin Lizzy. That was very interesting to me. His earlier band was called Clover. Yeah. And then he's got the uh, Honky Tonk Blues, a Hank Williams cover song. So I thought it was very good. Uh, all information that I did not, uh, I did not know. But I do like the. It's, it's another one of those good album covers. Good album covers. All right. And when you listen to it, it is a good. Like I said, because it's the, in my opinion, the harmonies are so great. It's so, it's a great sing along album, in the car. Yes, yes, yes. It doesn't Very make good. you drive any faster, but you just you sing along, and you just can't help it. It's true. It's true. Any more? Um. Any other thoughts on this album? Just, well, just uh, no, not really. I got more Huey Lewis stuff in general, but not on the album. If you want to flip screens, there. Yes, here we go. Here we go. Look at like that. I said, I had had a few copies of that because I'd burned through them on the tape player and that. Sitting there with my Huey Lewis, and that's our new doorstop we got in front of the studio there. Nice. Now you got that song stuck in your head. Yes. Um, Huey Lewis. Like I said, he hit it the right time. And his voice, and I'm not comparing saying they're both as, just as good or bad, but just his voice was so distinctive when he speaks, kind of tone low. You you don't have to look. You hear that voice, you go, oh, that's Huey Lewis. You just, you know. And uh, story is, I heard this from Kenny Loggins. Actually, I heard this from, not personally, but an interview he did. Huey Lewis was on the USA for Africa album they all did in the time there. And there's one part in there where they all four had their solos and their harmonies. And one of the stars that was supposed to be there didn't show up. And they go, hey, we need someone to fill in. Kenny Loggins says, have Huey Lewis do it. I said, all right. Hey, Huey, we want you to stand here on spot. Um, and then when your time comes up, you say these words in the microphone. Okay. Huey Lewis did it. Right before the recorder, he looked down. The tape where he was standing said Prince. Prince was supposed to be there, didn't show up. Huey Lewis got the spot. Oh, my gosh. I'd never so, heard that one either. Take that. All right, here we go. Here's some more fun stuff. Ghostbusters. In 1984, Ray Parker Jr. was signed by the, producer, was signed by the producers of Ghostbusters developed with the, songs, the film's title song. Later that year, Huey Lewis in the news sued Parker claiming the similarities between Ghostbusters and their earlier hit, I Want a New Drug. According to Huey Lewis in the News, it was especially damaging to, to them since Ghostbusters was so popular. It rose to number one on the charts in three weeks. The dispute was ultimately settled all out of court. Lewis has stated that his experiences with the producers of Ghostbusters were indirectly responsible for his getting involved in the movie Back to the Future which came out later that year. So if you listen to the two songs, he's got a point. Yeah. Okay. They came out similar years. My problem is where you hear a guy from the 50s or 60s come out with a guy who released a song in the 90s going, that sounds like my song. Okay, you came out in the 50s and the 90s. There's been a few other songs. Okay, A, call it credit. He, you inspired him. This coming out just a few months later, that's not inspiration. That's, you know, that's Coat wrong. Coattails. Coattails. Um, also, another Huey Lewis fun fact. There's Huey on the bottom and that guy on the top. Well, we'll figure that out a little bit here. The movie American Psycho in the soundtrack. The band is mentioned numerous times in the 1991 novel American Psycho. And the subsequent end in the film. There's even a chapter in the novel entitled Huey Lewis in the news. Now, it goes on to what Huey's probably not going to spoil the movie if you haven't seen it, but there's a part where Huey Lewis is in a lot. So him and, when you think of parodies, who do you think of? Yep, him and Weird Al did a parody of a certain scene from that movie. So 
Huey had a little fun with that too. Interesting. Huey's done a lot of acting tidbits here and there. Um, he's even in the videos for other people and stuff. So he's keeping his, keeping his name out there. Some concerts. King and Country Drummer Boy Christmas presented by KTIS. It's going to be at Target Center November 26th. So let the let the Christmas music begin then. It is after Thanksgiving, so. Yeah, fair enough. And it's KTIS. You can't really say anything bad about them. That's the Christian <laughs> station. That's. Now, I know this isn't, this isn't, Andy, this is sports. What are you doing? AEW Wrestling is going to be at Target Center on the 29th. Chris Jericho is part of AEW, and well, he's with Fozzie, and they're a band, so there. Ties back in together. Yeah, that's right. And the Acclaim, the one guy there, Max Caster, is a rapper. He comes out rapping to fresh raps all the time. So there, see, it's all together. Just saying all together. The Eagles, 17th and 18th down at XL Energy Center. And I know, I don't know, are you, do you still, have you gotten your tickets yet for the Jones Brothers on that Sunday yet? I have yet? not. I have He's not. Still okay. Scalpers, just give, drop a line here to the studio. Jonas Brothers at the X. No, I will not be going to this one, no. You won't. Free tickets, not going. Ten days from now. I know Connie might go, though. Her and oh, Oswald. That's her go. thing. Yeah, she might. trans Orchestra, also down at the X, coming up December 30th. They'll have two shows that day. Two shows. We got one some day. Friend, friends of the show like this. Yes. Yes. Also, out at the Dodge House tomorrow night, Isaiah Mueller Trio will be out there. The original boys are back. So I'll uh, stop by tomorrow night at the Dodge House on Lester Prairie, and we'll see them there. You'll see me there. I'll be the one with all the empty bottles of Nick Ultra in front of them. Yes. Uh, I saw these guys at Floyd's, I think. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we all saw them there. Okay, yeah, very yeah. good, good sounding music there. <clears throat> yeah. If you're not doing anything tomorrow night, swing it out to the Dodge House out in Luster Prairie, seven thirty, and stop by and say hi. And again, yeah. bring your own sharpie. Bring your own sharpies. Yes. All right. What did you guys do to me? That is it. That's what I got. Sorry, I have no albums, no chart chart toppers this week. Um, just want to remind you though too, like I said, the one at the Dodge House here we're seeing. You may not look it out the window here in Minnesota, but should be getting cold outside. So the bands are all going inside. Uh, bars don't have much bargo or races or anything else to have inside, so they've got the bands coming in. So keep an eye open for that. No, I've got um, a check the casino and everything else with bands. Uh, is there any Huey Lewis tribute bands? Not that I know of, you know, I, I've never seen any like the, um, the bands who play just '80s hits. I've never seen any of them to know if they cover any Huey Lewis stuff. Um, they would be, be a hard sound to do though, because you got the the sax and the harmonica. The six. Not all the bands do that. So you got to carry a sax player just because. Okay, uh, makes sense. Makes sense. So Huey Lewis in the news, that's some good stuff here. So this is our season premiere of season number five as we'll crank through another 51 weeks here. So episodes. All new musical things here uh, coming up for the new year. That's all I've got. Keep your comments and uh, suggestions down below in the comments section and also requests. Like, share, subscribe, all that other happy stuff. All that jazz. All right, have a, have a good week, everyone. See ya.